Hey everyone, it's finally sunflower season. Now, if you're living in the Northern Hemisphere, you've probably already had sunflowers blooming or are just about to have sunflowers blooming. And today I wanted to do a video about why are my sunflowers potentially shorter than what I expected, especially if they have already started blooming. And so this is my first year growing sunflowers for cut flower production. Um, I have grown branching varieties of sunflowers, but um, you know, with the intention to actually cut and sell these, uh, I've been a little bit more diligent in terms of doing research to make sure I'm getting the right type of stem length, the right uh, head size, the right stem thickness to make sure that um, I can use these in bouquets. And so, you know, I I am actually growing these to put in straight bunches. So I'm gonna do probably like six for $15. And these are a good size for that. So I think a lot of us are aware that planting density will impact the stem thickness as well as stem head. These were planted about, we'll call it like four or five inches apart from one another. And these are the size heads that I got. Now, one thing that you may not be aware of is day length and how day length uh, impacts your sunflowers, specifically stem length. So that's what I wanna talk about today. Now, what do we mean by day length? Typically, you will see varieties that are short day length, long day length, or day length neutral. And so when we are talking about day length in that context, we're talking about basically anything that is be uh, below or above 12 hours of daylight in the context of flower bud initiation. So for example, a short day length plant is a plant where flower buds are quicker to initiate under 12 hours of daylight. A longer day length plant is one that will really start initiating buds above the 12 hour mark. Now, this doesn't mean that if you plant a short day length plant, during the height of summer. So for example, tomorrow is actually summer equinox, the longest day of the year in the Northern Hemisphere. It doesn't mean that it's not gonna initiate buds. It's just mean, it just means that it's gonna initiate buds uh, or it's gonna take longer to initiate those buds. But the reason why this is relevant is because I saw a bunch of people basically asking on a Facebook group. I even saw a video from Jessie from Living on a Prayer Farm. I think this was about a month ago where she planted out her sunflowers um, earlier and they came out really, really short. And she was like, why are they short? And it was a really good question because it made me question as to why too. Um, sunflowers are one of those flowers where you do not need to fertilize. They have a tap root, which means that they go really far down into the soil. They're really good at getting nutrients and stuff. So if your stem length is short, it's not because it's being under fertilized. It's usually because it's a different reason. And my hypothesis is that those sunflowers were actually a short day length sunflower grown during short days. Now you might be asking yourself, doesn't it make sense to grow a short day length flower during short days? And the answer is Yes, if your goal is for early flower bud initiation. The answer is no if you're trying to get long stems for bouquet production because the problem with growing a short day length variety like a sunflower during the short days is that the flower bud will initiate so quickly that the plant doesn't have enough time to elongate and grow its stem to a height that is appropriate for bouquet making. And we're talking about stem length, like 12 inches or a foot or below. Um, there were some very short sunflowers that I saw earlier in the season when it was clear that, you know, people were growing in, I would say like there were warmer climate type of environments where like it's usually 15 degrees Celsius or 59 degrees Fahrenheit where a sunflower needs that soil temperature to be at in order to really grow because sunflowers are warm types of, uh, are, are warm loving plants. So you may have the warmth there, but you may still not have the day length. And that's where you're seeing those short stems happen um, around like the March, April mark. So one of the things that I learned in this research process was that if you live in the Northern hemisphere, you are really hitting the, the above 12 hour mark in like the mid March period and it ends into the mid September timeframe. So that means that whether or not I live in New Jersey versus in Alaska versus Florida, 
I'm gonna hit 12 hours or at least 12 hours a day of sunlight in between mid-March to mid-September. Now, how much sunlight I get during the day will then vary throughout the season. So for example, I mentioned tomorrow's summer equinox um, or solstice. So tomorrow, um, our sun is gonna set sometime, you know, like I think like 9, 15, 9, 20, something like that. But in Alaska, it's gonna be setting after midnight. So they're getting like way longer days than we are. But at the end of the day, they will go back to short day periods at around the same time that we are, which is gonna be in mid-September. So this is relevant because if you live a little bit further south, like let's say in Florida, Louisiana, Texas, you know, you guys have a longer growing season than us because it's warm, but it does not mean necessarily that you have different day length conditions than us, right? You guys kind of have similar day length con conditions during uh, like during the winter and the fall months. So what that means is that if you're planting a short day variety during those months and you have the right temperature, but you don't have the right day length, um, you might actually get flower initiation with shorter stems. So what you really wanna do is you wanna be planting those uh, short day varieties during longer day uh, days. So let's talk about varieties. So pro cut varieties are typically day length neutral which means that um, the amount of sunlight out there does not inf affect their flowering. Um, and that is predominantly what I grow. Now, I have seen some additional research that shows that um, the white light and the early orange are technically shorter day varieties or they're more influenced by shorter days. So I actually do have some white light put out there, um, but I am definitely in longer day conditions right now and they still have fantastic stem length. I mean, we're, we're at like, over you know three and a half feet so um you know not really a a good use case there to see if it really is short day but um you know this is something definitely for you to experiment with so short day varieties are typically um the premier series the sun rich series are short days um and they are like they're seeds that a lot of us grow for cut flower production so it's just something for you to be aware of when you are buying seed to see if you can find information on is it short day, is it a long day, or is it day length neutral. So, um, you know, at the end of the day, plants, all plants are impacted by the day length, the temperature, and the light intensity. And typically, the more light intensity or the stronger the light intensity, the bigger heads that you'll get. And that is consistent across whether or not it is a short or a long day length type of plant. But the takeaway for this video is that if you have a shorter day variety and you're planting it during the short days of the year, you will get flower bud initiation, but you may not get that stem length. So if that's something that you've been suffering with, take a look at your seed packet. And if your seed packet doesn't say it, do some Googling and see if you potentially grew a short day variety during the short days, because then you should be growing them in the mid summer and then buying long day varieties to grow during the short days because remember the long day varieties will take longer for flower bud initiation to form but you will get those longer stems right so it is that trade-off where i know a lot of us look at a seed packet and we're like 50 days to maturity i absolutely want that but sometimes there's a cost to that right which is the shorter stem so in this case we are trading off time for longer stems and I'm totally cognizant of the fact that for most of us, like we're probably buying day length neutral sunflowers, so this doesn't matter. And you're throwing them into the ground and they look like that they're the right height. But if you get into a situation where you planted a full crop of sunflower and they all end up being short, it's really hard to use those stems. So I think it is worth paying attention to. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. And if you have any um, recommendations or if you have any experience growing uh, sunflowers and this has actually resonated with you, please let me know in the comments below. I will see you next time.